Hello everybody, today we're going to discuss about the Welch t-test using our software. Welch t-test is the modification of student t-test uh, in order to see or to uh, compare two sample means are uh, significantly different. And the modification of the well test is to the degree of freedom that using the test, which tends to increase the test power for a sample with unequal uh, variance. And when you set your neural hypothesis as well as alternative hypothesis, for example, if you set your neural hypothesis for the test that are the mean are equal, while the alternative one, the mean are not uh, equal. As compared to the uh, student t-test, uh, the Welch t-test doesn't have the assumption of equal variance but however both Welch t-test as well as the t-test uh, require or uh, need the assumption of normality and when two group of equal sample size and the variance both Welch test as well as the t-test yield the same result and uh, uh, and uh, but um, when the sample size and the variance are not equal, a student t test is quite unreliable. So under such conditions or circumstances, where t test is uh, best. So. Um, there are three basic uh, assumptions. The first assumption for the Welch uh, t-test is the observation uh, should be independent. That means each uh, group or each subject should be belong to only uh, one uh, group. And also there is no, the, uh, that means no significant or it, it is not recommend to uh, the presence of uh, outliers in the uh, groups and in fact the normality or the assumption of normality uh, should not be uh, violated. So in order to run the well test in our uh, R software you have to uh, run these three uh, packages that means the TGVerse, the, the DigiPaper and the R uh, Sussex and then let's import our uh, data. My data name is uh, WT in the form of Excel, which is found in the uh, desktop. So let's import it. Yes. So as you can see, there is two varieties, ODA as well as uh, DAGM uh, varieties. And GY standards for the response variable that I'm going to uh, measure. That means uh, grain yield. So we will check. <clears throat> that means whether the two groups, that means the two varieties are statistically significant uh, difference for the mean yield performance of TEF or uh, some other crop. So by this way, we can import our data. Then uh, we are assuming that the homogeneity of variance is uh, violated or the assumption of equality, uh, equal variance is uh, violated. So for instance, if you want to uh, see the summary uh, statistics, you have to use here WT is our data name and that, then you have to categorize or you have to group by what? By var. Var means our variety, which is two varieties. One is order and second one is Dagum. And you have to use this pipeline then you have to use uh, you have to write a, a function get summary stats and you have to provide here is uh, the response variable in our case our response variable is gy then the type of summary that you want to check is the mean and the standard deviation so type this and submit to our studio then you will get the uh, here is a variety or the group is document order and the variable or the response variable is the grain yield and uh, the number of uh, sample is 1919 19, and both cases are equal and here is the mean value and here also the standard uh, deviation and if you want to visual visualize or uh, if you want to create a box plot you have to use both the response variable as well as the uh, factor that means the group so assign any name that you want here then you have to write the TG box plots function under it immediately followed by data name or data name is WT. Then X is equal to uh, the uh, variety that we assign in uh, var and y is the response variable which is w, uh, gy that means granule then the li the y lab means the y axis title and the case here also x lab means the x axis title then you can add jitter you can provide a color even you can add a palette so type this and submit to our studio so you will get the uh, box uh, plot You'll get the box plot. Let's run this. Uh, sorry. 
and something is error let's fix it yeah var i think this is uh, capital yeah now it will be work i think i am not submit this one yes let's submit this let's go to our analysis yeah by now it will be work yeah as you can see here, uh, the varieties is Oda and Dagen, and the y axis is a granule. And here is the legend, which is var, the one uh, with this R is the variety Oda, and the one with the blue color is the uh, Dagen. So, by this way, you can create your uh, box plot. Then, when we compute the uh, Welch t test, you have to assign any name that you want here. I assign here start.test, then immediately uh, assign uh, this. You have to use uh, this less than hyphen or you can interchangeably use the equal sign. Then WT is our um, data name, then connect this one. So the function here is T underscore test, then immediately by response variable, then immediately by factor, then add a significance. So if you tap this, you will get the result. So let's run this one. Yes, as you can see here, the start the t, the t statistics is 1.42, and the degree of freedom is 34.9, and the p-value is 0 0.165. Since it is greater than 0 0.05, we may not reject our null hypothesis. That means they have equal var, they have equal mean. That means both groups have equal mean. And here also the p-significance value is ns. So that means there is no statistically significant difference, dagum and order varieties or alternatively you can use the second method t dot test function then immediately uh, uh, you have to indicate the granule uh, as a, as i as explained by the variety in this way so if you type this it will yield the same uh, result yes as you can see here the p value is 0 0.165 and also here is 0 0.165 and even the t statistics here is 1.42 and here is 1.417 so it, if it, if you round 7 uh, to this it will be 1.42 so in both um, uh, tests are yield the same uh, result then again if you want to uh, if you want to uh, perform the cohen's uh, d for welch test for example, if the, in order to measure the effective size of the group, so uh, in order to do that, you have to use the Cohen's uh, D function, then immediately response variable, then the factor, then uh, the, our assumption is there is no equal variance, so type here is false, but if it is um, equal variance, you, you have to type here is true then submit uh, this one so accordingly to say the uh, effective size small uh, moderate or large if the value is uh, less than 0 0.2 uh, if the value is around 0 0.5 up to 0 0.4 something at 0 0.499 it can consider a small and if it's the value is 0 0.5 and above but less than 0 0.8 it can consider as moderate and if it is greater than 0 0.8 it's considered as a large effective size so coming to our analysis here is 0 0.46 0 0.46 is less than 0 0.45 and it is in the range of 0 0.2 so the effective the effect is uh, of the effect size of the two group is what it is uh, small then again if you want to display all the statistical uh, results uh, in the, uh, the in the box plot so you have to use here the start dot test which is equal to start dot test what we created here then we have to add x oh, x uh, underscore x underscore position x is equal to the x axis that means the varieties or but in our case it is what it is a, a var so submit this one then aku is what we created before what we created before as you can see here aku means the box plot that we create this one so uh, you can go here and you have to add or you have to use the start 
uh, underscore p value uh, underscore manual then you have to immediately write the start dot test what we created here so put this into uh, this um, area then tip language is equal to zero then labs and under the under the parentheses you have to write all this value so detail is equal to true means it will it provide all detail information or all the statics that uh, we get so type this and submit to our studio yes so you can get in this uh, way as you can see here both in the two varieties that means order and dagen there is no statistically significant uh, difference so we have no any evidence to reject our null hypothesis our null hypothesis means the mean group of two um, uh, varieties or two groups are what uh, the same in, in, in giving of, of what the grain yield so grain yield uh, have the same value for both order and as well as in dagen and there is no statistically significant difference between a dagen and order uh, varieties so this is all about the wealth t or the wealth um, uh, t-test and this t -test, this wealth test is are used when the assumption of homogeneity of variance is what homogeneity of variance is uh, violated so this is all about today's tutorial as usual you can provide your valuable comments suggestion question to my email work gmail.com or alternatively you can use the youtube uh, comment box thank you for watching have a nice time